थ्योरीज ऑफ कोरल रीफ्स लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस टू नाउ से देखो द कंडीशन इन विच द कोरल्स ग्रो वो जो कंडीशन है द कंडीशन आर वेरी वेरी टाइट कंडीशन दे कांट ग्रो इन कोल्ड वॉटर्स दे कांट ग्रो इन लेस लाइन वॉटर्स दे कांट ग्रो बिलो द फोर्टिक जोन most corals are within the first 80 meters of the surface okay to agar corals ka jo thickness hai that depends on the zooxanthellae and the zooxanthellae depends on sunlight iska matlab kya hua that in any case the coral thickness should not be more than 200 meters 200 meter hi to hai aapka photic zone and we have said As you go below eighty, the oxygen content becomes less. Okay, but we do have examples where coral ka thickness is as much as three hundred meter, four hundred meter, one fifty meters. Corals are not swimmers, correct? This is a platform. This is a platform. Think of this as a platform. This is the waters. Say so this depth is. Okay, say sixty meters. This depth is maybe eighty meters, and this depth is say one fifty meters. Can I have live corals here? Very unlikely. So can this form a reef? No. Can I have uh, live corals here? Yes. So can they form a reef? Yes. So uh, this can become a reef. Even this can become a reef. But here, per agar live corals hai hi nahi. so can they become a reef no the problem is that we do have coral thickness beyond this also and hum to keh rahe hain ki this is this is the photic zone photic zone ke niche we have examples of platforms where the coral accumulation is almost 300 350 400 meter ka thickness hai if corals can't survive here fir ye thickness bana kaise this is the mystery Yes, in the first case, but fortic के साथ में आपको ऑक्सीजन भी तो चाहिए तो ऐसा नहीं कि यहां पर नहीं हो सकता बट बहुत रेयर होगा मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर हियर दो सौ तक हो सकता है बट इट वेरी रेयर वाई बिकॉज यू डोंट हैव इनफ ऑक्सीजन यू डोंट हैव इनफ न्यूट्रिय बियॉर्ड द पॉइंट बट वी फाइंड मोस्ट बैरियर रीफ्स हैव थिकनेस ऑफ वन फिफ्टी मीटर्स सबसे कॉमन कौन से रीफ्स हैं वर्ल्ड में फ्रिंजिंग रीफ्स एंड बैरियर रीफ्स आर द मोस्ट कॉमन वन ठीक है एक आध एक्सेप्शन आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड बट बैरियर रीफ्स एवरीवेयर आर 150 फिफ्टी मीटर एंड बियॉन्ड एंड एट ऑल्स कैन बिकम एज मच एज तीन सौ साढ़े तीन सौ चार सौ मीटर वो तो फोर्टी जोन के बियॉन्ड है दिस इज वन ऑफ द मिस्ट्रीज ऑफ कोरल रीफ्स हाउ डू कोरल रीफ्स फॉर्म फॉर थिकनेस बियॉन्ड एटी और हंड्रेड मीटर्स ओके इवन इफ The zoo zanthale can't survive at those depths efficiently, and the second mystery is how are atolls formed? They are done perfectly. The circular shape is. How are they formed? How are they formed? These two are the main mysteries of the corals. Okay, so there are uh, two main mysteries. Mysteries of coral reefs. Number one is. Although the likelihood of live corals dramatically declines beyond okay eighty meters, I mean, but I have told you, fathom, but I have last class. Me, the right depth is thirty forty fathoms. Is that right, Abka? Okay, this is generally around thirty to forty fathoms. One fathom is about one point eight three meters approximately. But the barrier reefs are. most of them are beyond 150 meters thickness and atolls can have a thickness of 300 to 400 meters thickness the one mystery the second is the second is how are the circular shapes of atolls form for a third mystery we have the mystery of द लगून हम इसके ऊपर बाद में आएंगे लगून आर ऑल्सो मिस्ट्री ये पूरे ओपन ओशन में ऐसे शेलो वॉटर्स कैसे बनते हैं सो हाउ आर द शेप्स द सर्कुलर शेप्स ऑफ ऑल्स फॉर्म 
and the lagoon chemistry. So the dome mysteries, and you can add a third one called the lagoon mystery. So now, the coral reef theories. Hain, there are two sets of coral reef theories. These the theories. Hain, they explain the above mysteries. Why are they thick? Why are all are circular? How are the lagoons formed? There are two sets of coral reef theories. One category of theory is called as the subsidence theory. This was given by Darwin, Charles Darwin, the same man who gave us the evolution theory. The second theory, they're called as the standstill theory. The standstill theory was given by different people. This was called as Murray's theory. There's one called as Daly's theory. There's one called as Gardiner's theory. There's one called as Agassiz's theory. Gardiner, G-A-R-D-I-N-E-R. These are theories, hai, but they belong to a category called as standstill. A category called as standstill. Almost like standstill theories, these are challenging. Darwin's subsidence theory. This is Darwin ko karte hai challenge. The subsidence theory of Darwin Na aapko janna hai mainly Darwin theory and daily theory. Sare sawal inhi do pe hote hai. Your book also has these two. I will give you some points on these, but I will not elaborate much. Aap yehi do mainly yaad rakhe. Darwin theory and daily theory.